If you want to know how to quickly and easily upload and schedule posts to your Instagram from your PC or your Mac, stay tuned because the video starts right now. Hi, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, which I created to help local business owners like you improve their online visibility. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you get notified whenever I publish a new video. I don't know about you, but posting on Instagram using my phone can be a little bit of a hassle at times, not to mention that I can't even schedule posts unless I use a software which I need to pay for. But Facebook, who owns Instagram, has recently solved this issue and made it possible to publish and schedule posts to your Instagram feed and Instagram TV directly from your PC or your Mac, all of it for free. This is done through a very cool tool called Facebook Creator Studio, which Facebook launched a little while back to help users manage Facebook pages easily from one platform. More recently, Facebook integrated Instagram as part of the Facebook Creator Studio platform, so you can also manage your Instagram account directly from there, making it a one-stop shop to facilitate your marketing efforts to promote your business. Before I give you a quick run-through of how this works, you need to know that in order to use the platform, you need the following, a personal Facebook account, a Facebook business page, and an Instagram business account. Once you're all set, head over to facebook.com slash creator studio. Click on the login or sign up button and sign in using your personal Facebook account details. You will automatically be logged into the Facebook Creator Studio platform. The business pages connected to the account are displayed on the top left hand side. Above the pages in the blue ribbon, you will find a Facebook logo and an Instagram logo side by side. If you don't, it may mean the Instagram option hasn't been rolled out in your country yet. You can jump from one platform to another by simply clicking on the logo and access your content on the respective platform. If your Facebook page is not connected to your Instagram business account, you will see this screen being displayed. Just go to your Facebook account, select your Facebook business page from the top right hand side menu, go to settings, and then from the left hand side menu, select the Instagram option and then connect your Instagram business account to your Facebook business page. This will enable you to access all of your Instagram feed in Creator Studio. Back to the Creator Studio interface. As you can see, it's very intuitive. You can filter the content through content type using the navigation menu at the top and narrow it down by status and time frame. Clicking on a post will open the post itself along with a performance. You can edit the post if you want to by clicking on the edit button. Both options are also accessible if you hover on the post and click on the three dots as shown here. The left hand side menu allows you to jump from your content library to the analytics data of the account. And if you have multiple accounts, you can jump from one to the other by using the Instagram account menu link. Finally, there's a big blue create a post button which, as you guessed it, will enable you to create a post directly from your PC or laptop. Time to publish our first post. Click on the create a post button and select the Instagram feed option. A window will show up on the right hand side of your screen. Start writing your caption in the first field. Note the very handy presence of character limit counter and the number of allowed mentions and tags right below the caption window which update as you type. Formatting your caption carries the same restriction here as it would on the app. If you want to add a location, start typing it in the Add Location field and select the suggested most appropriate location for your post. Click on the Add Content grey box to upload either a photo or a video. You can choose to upload a file from your computer or your Facebook page. By default, your image will be loaded using a square crop. You can modify this by clicking on the three dots at the bottom right of the image. Select the crop option and choose between landscape, vertical or square. You can move and resize the grid to capture which part of the picture you want to show. To create a carousel, repeat the same process, but instead of selecting only one image, select multiple images at once. This will automatically create a carousel. You can't use a different crop type within the carousel. The crop selected for the first image will dictate the crop for all images within the carousel. So if your first image is a square crop, all images will be square. However, you can move the grid and resize each image separately. 
Finally, if you want to share your post on your Facebook page at the same time, just tick the box under the Post to Facebook option. Once you're happy with your post, you can click on the Publish button, which will publish your post instantly on your Instagram feed. A dialog box will pop up on the left-hand side of your screen, confirming your post has been published. Alternatively, you can schedule the post to be published at a later date. Just click on the pointing down arrow next to the Publish button, select the Schedule option and choose the appropriate date and time, then click on Schedule. You should see a dialog box on the bottom left window showing your post has been successfully scheduled. If you want to double check, click on the Content Library option in the main menu. Your post should be on the list displaying the status as Schedule. This is extremely useful as you can plan your post up to six months in advance. If you want to upload a video instead of a photo, the process is almost identical. Write your caption, add your location, then upload your video. Clicking on the three dots at the bottom of the video will only give you the option to delete it. You cannot crop a video, so make sure it is the right format before you load it. Once you're done, choose to either publish or schedule the video. You can also choose the draft option if you haven't finished creating your post and publish or schedule at a later date. The video limitations are the same here than the ones on your phone. Videos must be between 3 and 60 seconds. If you want to publish videos longer than 60 seconds, you should use IGTV, which is what we're going to cover next. Posting on IGTV is almost exactly the same as posting on your regular feed. Click on the Create Post button, but this time select the IGTV option. Then select the Instagram account on which you want to post. Add a title and description in the appropriate field. Unlike the caption of your post on your regular feed, here you can add links in the description of the video, which is a great opportunity to drive traffic elsewhere, such as your website, for example. You can also add hashtags. In the left-hand side menu, click on the From File Upload link to upload a video from your computer or the From Your Page Content link to upload a video from your Facebook page. At the bottom of the screen, you should see a progress bar indicating how much of the video is left to be loaded. It will change color to green when it reaches 100%. If, for some reason, you decide to change the video, click on the Select New Video link and upload a new video. If you are unfamiliar with the requirements of publishing videos on IGTV, just click on the View IGTV Requirement link, which will take you to a page where you can find all the information you need. Time to choose a cover image or thumbnail for your video, which will be the first thing visitors will see when they check your IGTV profile. It's important you make this as compelling as possible if you want people to watch it. If you scroll down the window, you can choose from a selection the Creator Studio has automatically generated for you from the video. Alternatively, you can use your own by clicking on the Upload Custom Image link, which is what I would recommend. Be careful, it needs to fit IGTV requirements. If it doesn't, you will get the following error message. If your video is over one minute long, there is an option to display a preview of it in your regular feed, which is a good idea if you want to reach more people. This option is automatically selected by default. If you don't want to share a preview of it, just untick the box. You can also share your video on your Facebook page by simply ticking the box under your page. Once you're happy with everything, just publish or schedule your post as described before. Just wait for a couple of minutes and then your video will appear on your content list. That's it for today. I think Facebook has done a great job to integrate Instagram as part of its Creator Studio suite. It makes it so much simpler and faster to publish and schedule posts in advance. Not to mention that you can jump from your Facebook content to your Instagram content in just one click. And the icing on the cake is it's all free. I've only partially covered this tool, so play around with it yourself. I'm sure once you've tried it, you won't be able to go back to your normal ways of posting. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below as always. Don't forget to like the video and until next time, happy marketing.